Political competition, their motto, the time is now. Tonight, another party is trying to get on the ballot and has enough unvalidated signatures to do so. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Tim White joins us live with details on how this could shake up Rhode Island politics. Saying most Rhode Islanders aren't happy with how things are going, moderate party leaders say now is the perfect time to launch a political alternative. It appears they've got the signatures, but keeping the momentum and money going into 2010 is the next hurdle. Moderate Party founder Ken Block watches his Board of Elections officials count signatures. He needs 24,000. He delivered more than 33,000, the first step in getting the little-known party on the ballot. I would never, ever... Uh, and, and to go through this process again, Why? if I had my way, it's a brutal process. And expensive. Using his own money and what he called substantial donations, Block hired a firm to carpet bomb the state and gather signatures. We are under tremendous pressure to get the status quickly so that we can compete on a par with the existing political parties. It makes all the difference organizationally. It makes all the difference financially. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says getting the signatures is one thing. The question is, can they find a candidate, somebody like Lincoln Chafee and Eileen Violet, one of those people who has high name recognition already, to run, and also a candidate that can raise money? Block says they don't have the party's face yet, but he's working on it. We absolutely must, because once these signatures uh, qualify us for a political party, the only way we keep our status post-2010 is to run a candidate for governor who wins at least 5% of the vote. This afternoon, the Board of Elections confirmed the moderates have enough signatures. Now each city and town must certify the names. Block says he expects that to take a few weeks. We have more information on the moderate party on our website, WPRI.com. Tim White, Eyewitness News.